Burma's military junta has taken dramatic action to silence pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi. She's been hauled off to jail and charged with breaching the terms of her house arrest and will face trial on Monday. Her current period of house arrest was due to expire soon. The pretext for the junta's action is a recent incident in which an American man swam across a lake and entered her home. The opposition says that's just an excuse for keeping Aung San Suu Kyi out of the public eye. After spending most of the past 20 years as a prisoner in her own home, Aung San Suu Kyi's personal and political struggle looks set to continue. Less than a fortnight before her latest period of home detention was due to expire, the leader of Burma's National League for Democracy was taken to Rangoon's notorious insane prison. These photos, published on a Burmese website, were reportedly found on a camera carried by John William Yetau. According to reports, the American swam two kilometres to infiltrate Suu Kyi's restricted lakeside compound, where he stayed for two days before he was arrested. Burmese officials say he met with the opposition leader and was fed by her two maids, who have also been detained. While his motives are still unclear, Yetau has been charged with breaching immigration and security laws. Meanwhile, Suu Kyi will face charges of violating the conditions of her house arrest, which her lawyer says may result in a three-year prison sentence. Pro-democracy activists have accused the Burmese government of planning the incident. Last year, the generous extended Aung San Suu Kyi house arrest illegally, so we believe the generous are trying to do the same again. Critics have also suggested the incident may have been used to keep Suu Kyi imprisoned during Burma's elections next year. Burma Campaign Australia says the junta is simply afraid of what Suu Kyi could do politically if she was released. The election is designed to legitimise military rule rather than to fulfil the aspirations of the people of Burma. Without participation of Aung San Suu Kyi in all political forces, the credibility of the election is questionable. Dr Cho says the international community, including Australia, must put more pressure on Burma to release Suu Kyi and its other political prisoners. Today, this from the Foreign Affairs Minister. It is uh, Australia's long-standing position, shared by governments of both political persuasions, that she should be released immediately and unconditionally, uh, and I repeat that uh, today. But with her trial set to begin on Monday, it seems Burma's government will do anything it can to silence her. Manny Tsigas. World News Australia.